Good morning, everybody. Today's Friday, the 8th of May, 2020. What have we got going on here? Basically, I, I did another row of uh, double dug ditch work over in the um, the new beds I'm building over there this morning and just really hit some serious clay again. So what I'm going to do, kind of whimsically, I did some research. I think this is going to work. So I'm going to take a bale of hay and I'm going to run it through the chipper shredder. It's powered, you haven't seen that before, it's powered by the... BCS um, 876 diesel tractor. So I'm gonna spin this guy up, basically shred all that hay into like a fine hay shred, duh. And add that as an amendment to the soil that I'm adding down deep in that clay. So the theory being that the uh, hay uh, will break down and add some organic material to the clay, help it drain. And I could use sand, but I really don't wanna add any sand uh, in the garden, so we're, thank you, Huey. She's looking for mice. Is there any mice in there, baby? Where's the monkey? Where is it? Where is it? Anyway, let me get this thing fired up, show you what it looks like. Say bye bye, Clay, some bitch. All right, so we ended up getting 10, 20, 30, 40 gallons of organic material, mulch, if you will, from one bale of hay. Not bad, not bad. Left a little bit here, but no big deal. But I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be about, I'm thinking it's going to be two buckets for each row in the garden. So that's probably about a half a bed's worth. Basically, two bales of hay per five foot by twenty foot bed, which is great because I've got a whole bunch of extra hay from from the winter. So let me get this over to the uh, garden beds, and we'll get this stuff added to some of that clay and get on our merry way. So here's kind of my recipe, I guess I'll call it. So that was the first row that's been backfilled. Uh, I'm not happy with that yet because it's still got like, those big chunks of clay, so I still have to break that up. But I'm, you know, I'm working on my quote-unquote recipe uh, with each progressively um, done row. So here in row two, I've already busted up the uh, clay, as you can see, with the broad fork. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend into this clay one five-gallon bucket of that compost and topsoil mix and one bucket of the freshly shredded straw hay. So that'll get mixed into the, you know, the bottom layer which is from 12 inches down to 24 inches and then what I'm doing is um, retaining three buckets of top soil quote unquote that was on the top of this and again look at all that clay so three buckets of native soil added to again one bucket of compost and top soil mix one bucket of who you move your fat beak one bucket of uh, straw and they go into the Wheelbarrow there get mixed up really good because this is going to be the top of the bed. And once it's mixed up, it gets dumped back here on top. So that's my plan. <laughs> and if I do that, I'm anticipating it will look better than this. So I'll keep you posted. So here's my process. Once I get all the uh, native soil in here, it's just a matter of I choose to sit on a bucket. <clears throat> take my time and go through it weed out all the rocks and I'm not finding a lot of rocks and I take uh, the clay and bust it up by hand if it crumbles like this I keep it and if it watch 
and that, well, hey, that's gonna crumble. That's good. We'll keep that. But occasionally, I come up with a piece that won't crumble, and it's just like a big handful of Play-Doh, and it goes in the Play-Doh bucket. So I'll end up, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this clay, but I'll end up having a metric ton of this crap. Maybe I'll make my own bricks. Maybe I'll make an Adobe hut. Maybe I'll learn how to feed clay to chickens. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll do something with it. Ah, ah, one stray rock, I saw it. Nope, when it gets uh, fine enough, then I add the, uh, the topsoil and compost mix and the grass clippings and stir it into the thingy, the uh, rest of this wheelbarrow and pfft, onto the top it goes. All right, it's good enough for that load. Mix, mix, mix. I should throw some donkey manure in here too, but whatever. We'll make it work. Boy, is this soil gonna be loamy or what? Eventually. Maybe not first year. But that's okay. Not bad, not bad. Probably good enough. Now we'll level it off a little bit. And then let the worms do the rest. Let them earn their keep. All right. One can only hope that is good enough to eradicate some bullshit ass clay soil. Alrighty, got the first two 22 inch rows, so the first 44 inches of a 20 foot long vent, got those done. Um, it's not quite raised as much as I would have thought it would be, but I may, I may bump that up another couple of inches. But, but the soil is going to be really nice. So let's get this damn thing. Ready for the next one, but we got some weather coming in. Winds are kicking up, so I think we're gonna take a lunch break. And I mistakenly left the gate up open over there. And of course, 30 seconds after you got half the chicken flock in here going bananas. So let me go kick those stupid chickens out of here. Hey, you're not doing your job, bimbo. Poopy, get the chickens out of the yard.